guys, my name is Cassandra Bacara, but you can call me Cass. I'm one of your Yeti Snowmex ambassadors, and I'm here today to explain and demonstrate to all of you smaller, shorter riders out there that a bike as large as a 450 four-stroke is in fact the bike that you want while you're out riding in the backcountry. Especially in places such as Nelson or Revelstoke where the terrain is super steep and the pow is super deep. Now one of the first things that might intimidate a smaller rider about a 450 four-stroke is the possibility of it being too heavy of a bike. Uh, I know myself, when I first got into snow biking, my first thought was to jump onto a 300 two-stroke. Now that's not to say that bike can't perform, but when you need a bike to have more power in the backcountry, the 454 stroke actually will give you what you need in terms of power to turn a big track. As well, it actually weighs less than the 300 two-stroke. The 300 two-stroke claims to weigh in at 229 pounds, whereas the 454 stroke claims to weigh in at 224 pounds. So what you've got here is the lightest, most powerful bike that you could ask for while in the backcountry. That paired with a great balance between torque and horsepower. This bike is gonna have the torque you need even when revving at a low RPM so that you are able to make those hairpin turns to get yourself back up, to, up a climb, up a hill. to do to help myself maneuver the bike around whether I'm in a parking lot or just getting it back up onto the truck. Um, being shorter it helps I find to lean the bike over so that some of the weight is resting on my hip. From there I'll start the bike, kick it down into first and let some of, let go some of the clutch, feather the clutch while giving some throttle and let some of the momentum of the track, the spinning track in the bike do some of the work for moving it around. If you're ever in a situation in the parking lot where the bike does happen to tip over, keeping in mind a lot of the weight of the bike is actually the center of the bike. So what you want to do when picking up the bike is to put yourself at the center of the bike, grabbing from the tail end and the top handlebar and standing up with your legs and walking forward. A way to also help the bike to stay in place is just to give the front ski a bit of a turn. This counter turn will help to prevent the bike from wanting to tip over one way or another if you find that it is wanting to lean. Forward. 